let's talk about different ways you can combine bodies and even sketches together in Fusion 360. I'm talking about Boolean logic. And in, in the example below, you can see that you've got different ways you can solve where geometry intersects with other geometry or how sketches intersect with each other. And almost identically, Fusion's gonna let you solve um, the same way below, where you can combine everything together, you can solve for where there is overlap, or you can use um, almost like a tool or subtraction method. The first one, if you have a bunch of different bodies, in this case, we have four different bodies, and I'd like for them to be combined or merged into one, fusing them to make one solid geometry. I'm going to come up and find this combine tool right on the solid toolbar. You can select the target body. And in this case, it's okay that you just select one of them. And then for tool bodies, you can select them right here in the model, or you can select them in the browser. Over on the right, I'm going to choose what happens to them. I'm going to join them together. And we can push them into a new component file as well as keeping tools. Now this is gonna be a little more important when it comes to these future features we're gonna talk about in a minute. When I hit okay, you'll notice that one body is now found in the browser and you can even see where those lines where they touched is no longer there. It's now just one shared geometry. Sometimes you're gonna bring in another CAD file, an import, whether it's from Thingiverse, from a peer, from a friend, whatever, or you want to create a separate geometry and use this as a cutter. You can absolutely do this in Fusion. Go up to Combine, choose the tool or the target body is the one we're keeping. I'm going to be using this sphere as a cutter, and it's my tool body. I'll select it and then choose to cut. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to cut this away. Do you want to keep that body that's cutting. That's up to you. If I choose to keep it, it will remain. But if we toggle the visibility, you'll notice that now a cutout exists in the solid model. Okay, so here's the challenge. You want to create a smooth transition where the left side of the component looks like this. But if you were to flip it 90 degrees, the back side, front side, they have more of these kind of straighter edges. And so the profiles are kind of different. This could feel a little overwhelming or difficult to try to solve with sweeps and lofts. So one thing that you can do is try to solve this with two different geometries and solve between them. How we do this is we extrude both. This is one method. I'll show you a couple. You extrude both, and so I have two different bodies. And then I'll come up to combine, and this time we're choosing the intersect. The target body and, tar and tool body, you can actually use either or. The order doesn't matter, right? In this case, for intersect, I, either one can be the target body, either one can be the tool body. But now choose intersect and hit OK. It solves this where they share geometry. Now, it's worth noting that when you're building this, when you're sketching, so I've sketched them both. I have the first profile extruded, and now I have this second one, and I'm going to do an extrude. You don't have to wait and do the combine command to achieve the exact same thing. When you're going to uh, do the feature solve, you'll notice that maybe cut is the default. If you toggle over on the right here and choose intersect, just like the combine command, it's going to solve where they intersect each other. And so here I have the solved intersection, hit OK, and it gives me the exact same result that we were just looking at just a minute ago. Let me say it another way. When you're doing a second sketch onto a model like this one, sometimes I've done this and I almost I wasn't thinking about it. I don't really want to come in and have to cut that away and cut that away and cut that away. I just really want to keep this area. That's great. So come to your extrude command, pick the interior profile. And what it wants to do again by default is cut that away. And that's actually the geometry I want. And very similarly, all we're going to do is choose intersect. It just keeps that area of the volume and hit when you solve or hit OK, that's all that's going to be left. So just another way to think of how you can solve this. 
Now, when it comes to sketches, there's a similar type of experience, especially with curves. With curves, if you have two different curves in space, if you'd like to have it solve where it has this profile from the front and then from the right, I want it to be kind of swooping off. You can do this by adding a third sketch. You make sure that your 3D sketch is enabled. You then find what's called intersection curve. And this is basically the same thing as that extrusion in interference where they would overlap each other. So it's solving this um, you know, shared geometry or how they would um, intersect each other if they were extruded into each other. So this sometimes is hard for me to visualize. An alternative is that you can come to your surfaces and find surface extrude. If you extrude this and extrude the other, I'll right click, do repeat extrude. And these are surface extrudes, just a reminder, they're gonna have zero thickness. And what's cool is we can come in and trim these away here in just a minute if we want to. They have two different bodies, but right where they intersect each other, that's where that curve was getting created. So if it helps you, sometimes it's nice to see them extruded and understand how they're gonna overlap each other. That's what's getting solved.